The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebus. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jack Arash here. Uh, welcome to Super Metroid. Um, I was... So... I hadn't uh, restarted this series because I was having difficulties with my computer and I thought I wasn't able to um, start up the game again. Um, but it turns out I actually had the file somewhere and the emulator. So... Um, so yeah, now I can start up the series again. And actually have commentary. There's the Metroid. Gimme, gimme. Or not. Hey, you. That's rude. Eh. 
Hey. Right you are. You don't have to tell me twice. Thankfully, uh, the falling debris doesn't actually hurt you. It just deters you for a little bit. Ah, oh, no. I have to say, the opening sequence for Super Metroid is really awesome. You just got, like, chasing after Ridley, he's got the infant Metroid, you just got you're coming back to Zebus, and it's just this lonely feeling. It's like there's nobody here. Like, where is everybody? Like you're going in this area where you had uh, previously fought Mother Brain the first time <coughs> in Zero Mission, and just everything is desolate and lonely and. The, there's still all the broken machinery and stuff like that. And then, and then that happens, and you're like, oh, you're not alone. They're here somewhere. They're just hiding. And then those things get activated.
Ah, here we go. Music uh, for this opening sequence is amazing too. It's just so eerie and <coughs> empty. <coughs> I think they should be out now. Yep. Pirates have come out of their hiding spot. Creatures are out of their hiding spots, too. <clears throat> I 
I like how the pirate home world uh, music is um, a remix of this. <coughs> Goodness. Excuse you. I need more bombs. And I think I know where to find them, too. funny shrink bats. Mistake in the Torizo, the first Torizo boss, anyway, is uh, behind that door, so I need to make sure. <coughs> I'm sufficiently prepped. Sorry, I'm coughing. It's, it's annoying. I'm not sure why. That wasn't uh, too difficult.
There's gonna be some background noise because uh, I've got housemates, so. You know, they've got to exist too. <laughs> okay, that sounds harsh, but. <laughs> Not that way. Yeah, let's see what uh, this room over here is all about. Ow. And maybe not do that. Oh, nice. <coughs> Fine. Ow. That's not what I meant to do. Entrance to Turian, or Taurian, or however you pronounce it. So cool, though. And the music is awesome too. And this is like this is also the end, the beginning part of a. Uh, um, what is it? Oh yeah, Tet and Venom. Which is a great song. Even if the Latin is flawed. Such a cool... Yeah. Got Craig there, Ridley, Fantoon, and... Dragon, or... Dragoon, or I, I forgot. I think it's Dragon, right? So hard to jump while doing that.
Rinstar Green, baby. Whoa. Oh, okay. Alright. I think this one's a save. Uh, I guess again. I'll take it. That, that actually was better, because now I can see where all the rooms are. <coughs> <clears throat> and maybe do that while not coughing so much. I think part of it is I've been, uh, um, a, um, a game that I'm going to be doing a video for pretty soon, uh, is I'm going to be starting a series or, uh, for the, uh, the, the Legend of Zelda The Phantom Hourglass. And I was doing all these different voices, some of some of them were, and some of which were, um, not, not very easy on my throat. Not sure why I decided to do that. Okay. I'll take it. Those are similar to the, uh, what are they called? The Phasmites? Little glow bugs in on a uh, Talon Four.
Let's see, isn't the charge beam down here somewhere? Power bomb door. Isn't this a... Yeah, it needs a power bomb. Super missile door. I think this is the only Metroid game where even if you're standing up, the power bomb will make you hop. Or not the power bomb, the um, morph ball bomb. Can I just eticoon this? Ah, fine, I'll use the ledge. <laughs> insist on making it easier on myself, or harder on myself, rather. Can't touch this. Ow! Excuse you. I think that's a save, right? Over here? Well, 